Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to restore the fog lights that I took off of the Z4 front bumper. These things are just awful. As you can see, they are completely sandblasted. They're just pitted and oh, they just look terrible. So I'm going to try and um, grind off the top layer and repolish them and make them all smooth and shiny. Let's see if I can make that happen. Starting out really pretty coarse here because they're so deeply pitted. This is 120 grit sandpaper. So take it over to the edge here. Start grinding off the whole top layer. You have to get past all of those pits. Okay, these pits are so bad that now I'm going all the way back to 100 grit drywall sandpaper to take off uh, the top layer a little bit faster. Hmm. I'm going to have to up my game. Terrible. down to 100 grit to try to take off a little more of the surface since the pits are so deep and I've gone about as far as I feel like going here and I've switched back up to a little 120 and then I went to 220 and now I'm going to switch to wet or dry 400 and start using some water from a spray bottle. I'm going to keep doing this and I'm going to keep switching my grit where I'm starting wet or dry here with the 400 and then at a certain point I will switch to 800 and then I'll switch to 1200 and then I'll probably switch to 2000 and then I'll get some compound and buff these out and they should look pretty good hopefully and as long as they're better than they were I'm going to call that a win. Okay, well, I worked them all the way down with uh, up to 1,200 grit sandpaper. And then uh, after cleaning them up real good, I cleared them with uh, the clear coat I'm using on the bumper. And they came out pretty good. They're not perfect. They're far from perfect. But as with everything around here, we're never shooting for perfection. All we're shooting for is making it better than it was. And this is definitely better than it was. When you're gonna make a really beautiful after, 
you have to get a really nice capture of the before. Before. Both of these are way better than they were. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. This is the paint I used for the clear coat. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Highway 138 in California. Coming down the backside from a little town called Crestline. Whoa! Nice curvy road. Ooh, little sand there. the traction control on so we can't get too tail happy you know a couple years ago maybe three or four years ago oh yeah I went to England and I drove the Top Gear test track the old Top Gear before Jeremy got fired when they had the star in a reasonably priced car. Well, I went all the way to England and it turns out they had their test track open and you could come and drive a reasonably priced car. And that's what I did. And I got... Uh, a pretty good time. I got uh, 147.2, I believe, and at the time, the fastest lap was uh, the guy from Friends, who now is a host, and he uh, he had, I think, a 141. So 147 was pretty good after I only got, a, like, two practice rounds. Practice laps, I guess I should say. Yeah, this is a really fun little car to drive. It's just peppy enough to be entertaining, but not so powerful that it's scary and gets you in trouble real quick, like some cars. Kind of thinking of my 650i. That's got a lot more power than this. It could get you in trouble really quick. But I still love those V8s and those 650Is.